everybody! I'm here today to tell you how to get started on YouTube. I will be going over some steps for growing your channel. Now these tips and these steps are not anything fancy, but they work. This is coming from a guy who has hundreds of thousands of subscribers on his channel. And believe me, I'm nothing special. I just put in the work. So I figured that I would come up with these steps so you can grow your channel and get started on YouTube as well. Step number one is figure out who you are, okay? I don't want you to figure out what your channel is gonna be about. You don't know that yet. Figure out who you are because you're going to be making videos that are likely going to appeal to people just like yourself. So figure out who you are. For instance, my channel started off as a hardcore do-it-yourself home renovation channel. And then I realized that as it progressed, I wanted to teach many more things aside from renovations. That's because I'm not a renovator. I do my own renovations, but I do far more things than just renovations. My cousin started a channel based on drawing. And as it progressed, it was focused on more, more so being creative because he's not an artist. He's a creative individual. So figure out who you are. What do you stand for? What do you do every day? That's who you should be gearing your videos towards, okay? Step number two is think of a self-explanatory channel name. You want your channel name to be either your name, like your own personal name, or you want to think about a brand name that is self-explanatory. When people see your name, they should know what your channel's about. It doesn't have to take a long time. A lot of people will waste days on this. Like figure out a name that is available that like no one else has that, you know, within the first 15 minutes of thinking of your channel, who it's geared towards. It's so easy. Just think about a name that makes sense. Whatever name your channel has, if you do great videos for a long period of time, your channel is going to succeed. Believe me, I've seen many channels that have horrible names that are killing it right now. So the name doesn't really matter, but just make sure that it's self-explanatory. Step number three is I want you to create the channel. So once you know that you have your name and it's available and you have your general audience idea, create the channel doesn't take long self-explanatory follow the steps that wherever you can find them there's many tutorials create the channel really simple and straightforward I'm not gonna show you how to do it you got to figure that out for yourself step number four is create your channel assets in less than 15 minutes what are your channel assets your logo your banner any artwork uh, the description of what your channel is right like any anything that is part of your channel as an asset any image or wording that's part of your channel as an asset just create it in less than 15 minutes people I've, I've met people that spend days on this what a waste of time you don't even know what your channel is going to be about yet just put a picture up there that makes sense. Go create a picture. Go take a picture with a camera. Put your face. It doesn't matter. Just get something up there so your channel can actually be full, okay? Just get something out there. You know, like I said, take your own picture, create a picture, draw a picture, whatever the case is, get your channel assets up there in less than 50 minutes. Don't devote more than 15 minutes to this. Half an hour max. Half an hour if you're like a graphic designer and you can create something good, okay? So that was step number four. Step number five, I want you to write down 10 things that you know how to do. And that's because your channel is geared towards people like yourself. So if you know how to do them, then there's a chance that people will want to know how to do them. So write down 10 things. If you're an artist and you're developing a channel for creative individuals, what do you know how to draw? What do you know how to create? What crafts do you know how to create? Write down 10 things that you already know how to do that will require you not to learn anything new, but you already know how to do them, okay? Last but not least is step number six, which is make 10 videos about those things. So you wrote down 10 things that you know to do. Make videos, either tutorial videos that show the instructions for doing them, or it can even be a demonstration video that shows, you know, what to do without explaining it. Or it can be a vlog video where you're showing like the process of you doing it in a, in a daily format, like in a, in a vlog style video. It can be anything. It can be a time lapse of you doing a huge project. It doesn't matter get those 10 videos up there on your channel okay once you've done that rinse and repeat steps five and six create 10 more ideas 10 more videos rinse and repeat 10 more ideas 10 more videos okay you got to do this and don't look for results if you're looking for results already you're out of the game already in my opinion 
Just keep making those videos. Don't even look at it. I don't remember who said it. I, I don't remember who. I think I think Roberto Blake, a uh, guy that I've been following for many years, was the one who said it, uh, which is like, don't even look at your stats until you hit 100 videos. I recommend don't even look at them until you hit 200 videos. But you can peek at them at 100 videos. But just keep posting. Your channel will succeed. You'll figure out what you need to do along the way. You're not going to know anything at the beginning. You'll figure it out. Get into the habit of making videos consistently. The rest you can figure out. Listen, look at me. Look at me. I'm a lower middle-aged, bald man, you know, with a regular day-to-day -day job that makes videos on nights and weekends and during his breaks, like during my lunch break and stuff like that. Very simple. You don't need any skills to succeed. Just make the content. Squeeze in a video whenever you can. If you have the ability to squeeze in a video, squeeze it in, okay? Whatever the case is, you know, you're on your lunch break at work, before work, after work, after the kids are in bed. If you have, you know, half an hour away from your family, if they're occupied, whatever the case is, squeeze in the videos whenever you can. And that's it. That's how to get started on YouTube. Some easy tips for growing your channel. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.